This tutorial is going to deal with port forwarding, and we're going to be doing so on an AT&T two-wire, and we're going to be using the EH series DVR. So first off, let's take a look at some footage uh, from setting up the EH series DVR. We're going to start off on menu, and then go to system setup, and from there we're going to drop down to network. Now, we're going to do this in IP setup, and we're going to uncheck DHCP and then check it again. And what that's going to do is give you zeroed out settings. Um, we're then going to drop down and say apply. And that's going to have it grab its information dynamically from the network. The network server will restart and when it comes back up it will have gotten all the network information that it needs. And there we go. So now we have an IP address of 192.168.1 dot six nine. And we're going to write that down if we're doing an installation so that we have it for future reference. We can then uncheck DHCP so that it keeps this information and then close it out and save the configuration. So we'll be doing a static setup. And after it saves the settings it kicks us out to the main menu. And on the DVR side that's basically all you need to do. From here, we're going to go to command prompt, and we're going to run ping, P-I-N-G, space, the address. Um, we'll be using our address, but you can use yours. This will be 192.168.1.69. And we're checking that we can reach the host, um, that basically you can communicate with the DVR over the network. And that was successful with no loss. So now we're going to go to ugetsignal.com, which is a really great website uh, for testing ports. They have some really great tools, and this is just one of them. Uh, this is the one that we're using in this video, though. So as you can see, 8080 is closed. That's our web port. And so is 554. Those are the two ports associated. So now we can go to the AT&T two-wire page, which is 192.168.1.254. And we're going to go to the firewall section. Under firewall settings there, we're going to find the IP address or the MAC of the DVR. So our IP address was the dot six nine. And there it is. So we're going to add a new uh, user defined application, which is the way that port forwarding works on this particular model of router. We're going to have to name this, uh, it's basically like a rule or the application name, and we're going to call it EH DVR ports because that's what it is. So the first port is 554. The range is 554 to 554, and it's on TCP. And we're going to add that definition. When in doubt, you can always add it to both. Uh, if your router asks you for TCP or, and, or UDP, you can do both. Then we're going to do 8080. And we're going to add that definition. And after it refreshes, we should be able to look down here and see that both are there, 554 and 8080. And then we can click back. So we have to go back up to the select a computer section. And computer is just basically network object. And we'll make sure we pick the right one, which is our uh, 6.9. Dot 6.9 up here at the top. And then we're going to add the EHDVR ports rule that we just created. And it'll transfer over into that hosted applications column. And once it's there, she should be good and you should be able to click done. From this main screen, we can now see at the bottom that it added the rule. So we go back to you get signal. And 8080 is now open. Green flag. And so is 554. From here, we should be able to go up to our Internet Explorer browser and type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then the address of our DVR followed by colon 8080 which is our web port and then it'll ask you for credentials and we're going to use the default credentials right here which is just admin in all caps 1234 usually you're going to get uh, ActiveX control and that's it those are the basics of networking the EH